anyone that's been around this channel for a while will know that when this new tool from Milwaukee was announced at NPS, or a pipeline for 2020, I was super excited. You all know me, I love a good vacuum cleaner. And this one is convertible. Like it's got all different kinds of modes and attachments. You could get in all kinds of crevices or do wide expanses of area. I love versatility, and I know you do too. That's why of all the tools announced at NPS, this was the most requested that you asked for us to get into for a review. We finally have it. It is here. So grab your popcorn and a warm cup of tea because we're about to get this thing unboxed right after this message from our sponsor, VCG Construction. Head on over to our merch store. You can get hats, t-shirts, text shirts, stickers, hoodies. Link will be down below. Here it is, product number 0940-20. It says optimized for job site debris, 50% more sustained suction, five dedicated solutions. I love the versatility of this vacuum. You'll see the tool only includes the compact vacuum unit itself, a powered floor tool. It has a non-powered floor tool, accessory holder, a brush tool. I love the brush tool. Utility tool, crevice tool. It's got a HEPA filter, a foam pre-filter, an extension wand, and a flexible hose. Specification wise, this thing will move 32 cubic feet per minute of air. Sealed suction has an 80 inch H2O. I will assume they're talking about a water lift. Air performance, 98 air watts. Like literally, is that like air watts? What is that? Is that like air drums, like air guitar? What is that? What does that mean? Runtime with an M18 XC 5.0 battery on high, 18 minutes, low, 28 minutes. Capacity is a quarter of a gallon. Weight, 4.4 pounds. Inlet diameter is inch and a quarter. Man, this thing is just so awesome. I want to get it unboxed. Look at this. Oh man, this is awesome. This comes all organized. Okay, so we have the vacuum unit here. Looks well built. You can clean the canister by just dumping out here, but it looks like you could also remove the entire canister. Here's our motorized head, and this truly is motorized. We can see two prongs here on this powered head. Here's our powered shaft. This extension wand tube fits, boom, right here. Once this is on, then we put our powered floor attachment. Ah, there's a pre-filter on this side. Oh, and there's our HEPA filter. Okay, that makes more sense. They have an accessory attachment, it's like a bandolier. Cause this is the thing, like if you can't take all your attachments with you, like if, if these are like laying around, they're going to get lost, okay? So it doesn't make sense. So they, they have it where this nozzle kind of slides right in here. I mean, it's not terrible. It doesn't pass through over here, so that's not possible. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a little loosey goosey in there, okay. Feels pretty good. We're gonna put a, this is an eight amp hour on here. Let's see how this thing does. Is that beater brush coming on? Slow. And this is a pretty, we do have a nice pile over there. But we can try with the beater brush in a second, but I'd rather see how this does on carpet. This is where you would you'd be using it. We happen to have some dirty carpet over here. 
Number one, we have, we're here. This is kind of like our mat. So that's a fairly strong suction. Wow. Let's see how it does here. We have a mixture of the breeze. As you can see, it looks as though it does pretty good on carpeted, non-carpeted surfaces. You know, just be mindful, this canister will fill up quick. The one thing that's very impressive though, is you can see the fine particulate that it's picked up. And the other thing is, I guess they use some type of system here, our partition system here. The very fine particulate, and then the larger debris separately, keeping those apart will prolong the life of the filter and pre-filter. Let me empty this and let's test out some other debris. I'm going to assume that this is supposed to be more suited for carpet. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna swap that out. We're gonna put on the non-powered head. And these vacuums with HEPA filters, they make the air healthier for you to breathe. Some of you will be in a situation like, kind of like me, where this stuff's not movable. So what, how quickly could you actually convert over? Right, literally, is this what we do? We go right to this unit here, and then we have the crevice tool. Maybe we have to clean in around this area. So that larger wand won't get in there. Maybe we have to clean out this crevice down here. I mean, this thing has plenty of suction. Look at that. If we needed to, we have the brush attachment. to put that on here, right? Convert back over, boom. So it's easily convertible to whatever you need, whatever task, there's multi, multi heads. The filters look easily accessible and cleanable. The canister is easy to remove. And you'll see once again, we're, we're pretty full here. Let's take a look at the condition of the filters. 
you can see there's a little bit of dirt on that pre-filter and we do have, ah, we have a little bit that came through the pre-filter and went to the HEPA filter, but they're, they're you know, fairly clean. We could probably bang this out. Well, it seems fairly maintenanceable and versatile. A lot of different attachments. It's good for carpeted or non-carpeted services. You could do some upholstery with this possibly inside your car, work truck, Suited for a lot of different tasks, and if you like that, smash the like button. Also, leave it down in the comment section below. Are you picking up this vacuum? I, I really like it so far. I'm really excited to, to put a lot of hours on it, because you know me. I believe cleanliness is next to godliness. With that, I want to say I appreciate each and every one of you for being here. Thanks a lot, everybody. We'll see you all on the next one. You can put this right on. I mean, and it, it will run. Watch. I mean, you could, you, know, you could, I wouldn't, you could. <laughs> or you could just, you know, you could put these attachments right on, but I don't know why you would. You could, but if you could think of a reason, leave it down below. Video's over but I know you want more. So this is how you're gonna get it. First thing you need to do is pretend you're this guy. And you're here at the birthplace of freedom. Now ring that bell like it's 1776 and let all notifications through. What? You're not subscribed yet? Well, smash this button here. After that, watch this video here, here, and maybe over here. See you later. <laughs>